I know. <clears throat> this is a an off paced stream this morning, Friday morning. It's the 16th of September. But I've got a haul. Um and what I've discovered is so just yeah, I've got a haul, that's coming, you know, there'll be some chit chat first. There's um just a few, yeah, there's no there's no jewellery. So it's all different bits and bobs, a bit of variety for me, but definitely a few bolos in it, hence title. And I'll try and save those for the end. Um, yes, so went, oh, morning, Crispy. Oh, morning, Heather. Long time no see. Um, so, yeah, when, basically what I've discovered is, well, I, would, I know my attention span is like that. So it comes, so I don't list at the weekend generally. And, you know, we're busy doing whatever, drinking and stuff. Um, comes to Monday, I'm like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list. And I list a ton on Monday. <laughs> Reasonable amount Tuesday. By Wednesday, um, I've had enough of listing. Um, and that that's, yeah, about a day and a half I'm good for. And then I'm like, just want to go sauce. just want to go out. But, do I want, I want to go sourcing? Yeah, I, basically, I want to go on a jolly. I want to go on an adventure. So um, so I got in touch with the usual crew that I meet in Didcot, Crispy and Catherine. Thank you. Um, so I've got, I've, got, I've got to come up. I'm coming up. <laughs> so, yeah, had a really good day. Um, yeah, a little mooch around the auction house. And then went off shopping uh sorry sourcing sourcing i went off doing professional business sourcing um and yeah really chuffed i mean i've got some good stuff but as far as i was concerned i was just i just needed to get get out and well <laughs> car free technically i did get a lift from chris from the station to the auction house but i cycled down to our station got on a train and it, it, zippy zip, I was there. So then I had, when I did come back, I had to load, I had a backpack, two bags, load my bike up. And coming up the second hill was, it, yeah, I did have to get off my bike at the end. I'm like, I, I can't do this last bit. So um, that's something for me to bear in mind. I mean, I actually bought weights. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Knowing that I had two hills to get up stupid woman anyway so um good morning leanne good morning ali is that a new name welcome if it is good morning pete good morning jewel good morning catherine i'm sorry catherine like finding lots of stuff after you had to go i know your fomo was was real but i hope you enjoyed your um thing you had on um yeah so i'll start off with the bits and bobs and we'll work up to the bolos so love this leather belt i mean i'm into a leather i'm into a leather belt anyway to that any way uh you like no that white would look ridiculous with this dress wouldn't it but it's oh god it looks like a harness that looks like a lifting belt well anyway it's a fashion belt but um i'm just thinking this woven style might be quite in at the moment because i seem to sell woven leather belts but i like the extra you know like this double double doodah here it's not a brand i know it just says nts real leather and something else I can't read but that was uh yeah 150 so the leather belts I mean I stick them on at 20 being quite hopeful when there's no brand and then send out offers of 15 which is where they normally go for if it's something like that nothing special but happy with that from 150 um I was just having a moan to Chris in the morning about Oh, God, so I've got the Christmas jumpers and stuff that I put away for winter. Started listing those. I said it got to a stage where I just, I wanted to hang myself with a Christmas jumper. I was like, I don't, I can't be doing this. So I'm at the stage where I'm having to force myself to do one a day now. Because <laughs> I just don't want to do them. I just don't, I just don't want to do them. So a lot's are going on winter because I'm so I just, I, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought all these. I don't know, maybe I was thinking I need some variety. However, then I went and bought a jumper. Uh, but this was, how much was it? 
I couldn't leave it behind because it's Montreux. Oh, hello. Oh, something weird happened there. Um, oh, I do know how much it is. It's on here. Three pounds. Um, manta rays, like, people like manta ray, don't they? And definitely, I mean, I like the skiers, to be fair. If that wasn't everything itches me, even acrylic, I can't, I need cotton stuff. I'd, I'd be in that. I love that. So, yeah, Christmas jumper, ski jumper, skiers. Can't go wrong, can you? Three pounds. Again, I'll probably put it on at 25, hoping to get 20 given its fab design now but i'll show you my, my kitsch christmas decorations <laughs> be prepared right we'll start off this i might i could do with some help on actually i've got a pair of these unfortunately she's a bit bruised um Leanne Shelley will be so chuffed when the Christmas jumper sell and probably wish you'd bought more. Yeah, I mean, some of them I did, the ones that I've got stockpiled, they were like, yeah, 50p, 20p, like jumbles and that. <sighs> yes. <clears throat> um, at least you only bought one jumper. Yeah, quite. And it's a goodie as well, to be fair. Uh, so, yes, I've got these. And tell me, please, if you, if you like, if this is, because I'm like, oh, these are gorgeous vintage they're like tin, um, yeah, like tin they're made from. If these are like B&M or something, please somebody shout and let me know because I picked them up thinking, God, they're vintage. They look really 50s. They're like the baby sham deer, actually, aren't they? Um, but if they are like some kind of retro thing, please let me know. So I, I tried Google lensing them and I couldn't find anything, but they, I mean, they feel, but then, yeah, they could be retro made to look really vintage, yeah. So, uh, yeah, anyway, those I spent on all of these. Oh, I'm gonna sparkle now on all these Christmas decks, four pounds 80. I've got these aren't vintage, but they're just fabulous. I, I was immediately thinking one of these is going on our front door this year, and Connie saw them and she went, We've got to put one of those I was like, on the front door. Yeah, so <laughs> we're going for a kitsch Christmas this year. Then I got these are uh, two fabulous. Look at those. What are they? Eight, they've got to be 80s, haven't they? Go <clears throat> judging on the ribbon. That's quite yeah, that Laura Ashley floral time. I mean, they're gonna sell. I tell you. So I can't tell you for how much I'm putting these bits and bobs on for, but tune in on a Monday when I do my what's going out and we will see these going out no doubt so they've got the bells we've got all oh, got another oh, see i'm gonna find it hard to part with some of these we've got another bell with a a christmas a father christmas head on it just his head he literally has been decapitated for this ornament that's all but yeah i like him too maybe we should stick him up with the sign um I've got in this as well uh, tree top, cake toppers. So we've got Santa in various different positions, literally. I don't know what he's doing there. He's literally got a leg out. It looks like he's fallen uh, too many sherries on that one. And uh, I mean, there's a snowman on a skateboard there. Anyway, yeah, lovely. Um, now, I really don't know about these, but I'm just, I was just like, I'm just enjoying this. Because this was the start of, um, sort of, near the start of the jolly, and I was just like, I just, I just want to buy some shit, to be honest. Um, these are, you know, that you put around, <laughs> you take your own life into your own hands, and uh, you put around candles, and if they burn down low enough, they might set light. <laughs> So, uh, so what are candles, what are they called? Table decorations. So there's those two. And well, in fact, actually, I think one of these has already had a bit of a near miss. One of them's a bit, they're both a bit burnt, to be honest. I think that's already happened on those. But I don't know. I mean, for £4.80 for the lot, can't go wrong, can it? Then these are my fave. And I get these will be hard to let go if I do let go of them. I have four of these vintage Santas. 
that you remember like the little bears where you squeeze them and so you can just squish it onto a tree or something um don't know more. i don't know might can i sell them can i sell i know i don't oh i don't know i have to have to think about that um yeah girls might stop me from selling those uh then this these are clocks i do not do shoes but these are clocks cushion fit three quid uh, but it, they're animal print and they're ballet flats you know like that faux pony skin and i just thought it's vintage isn't it they'll they'll I have sold quite a few like flat type clarky type shoes i say clarky type i mean clarks not type it's not for me anyway <clears throat> they'll go invented right let's get into the some of the weird and wonderfuls and bolos um something's gone on i'm sorry if i'm really it's like the camera's gone zoomed in and i'm really close i don't know how to someone's been fiddling and i don't know what's happened so it's not a poo in a bag it's two cuckoo clock weights and these i got out of i wanted variety is it out of the special cabinet they were two pounds they weigh i've weighed them together they weigh 560 grams and i'm gonna put them on for 20 so yeah vintage cuckoo clock weights the heavier it seems the heavier they are the more money they command but it just feels like it's the sort of thing you're going to find at the bottom of a box at the car boot so well i don't know how easy a flip it'll be yet but I, I feel like this is the right time of year to put them on anyway i guess people would use them as clock replacement things or i mean how would you lose a weight like that or some i don't know would somebody craft with it i don't know anyway two pounds out of the special cabinet i thought i'll give that a go then <sighs> bear with me i don't know if you already know about this <laughs> but you know this thing about um discontinued lines well this is discontinued so this was 50p it seems to be full and i popped it on this morning actually for 18 plus shit so again it's just the sort of thing you're gonna find out the boot isn't it i mean i because i was like oh my god i just gave away like the big one you know that we just didn't really use baby lotion so um they sell apparently oi oi peter they sell so yeah watch my monday hopefully it'll be going out 300 mils 50 pair now what's it right three bolos coming up now what do i right i know what i'll show you first okay so i was paying for the the baby lotion <laughs> and uh i just looked down on the floor i have started looking at mugs i think i mentioned this on monday and i thought oh that's that's one in a box so i'll quickly look that up and i was like and I like it was in the middle of it rung up the and I said oh um can I just sorry can I add some yeah and I was like can I just have a look at it as well there's no queue luckily and I was like have I got this right like I didn't this it's an ember temperature control ceramic mug do you know about them I I didn't I came outside I showed Chris I was like Am I look? I said, oh no, I'm not looking at solds. What to what? And then I looked at solds, and I was like, oh no, this is okay. Three pounds I paid for this. Basically, it's something to do with uh, you can control it with an iPhone. So, and fortunately, it appears to be brand new, brand new in the box. Don't bloody drop it. That and I saw I saw one sell for about in the soles for about 70 pounds and it was dirty inside this has not been used that's the bottom and then it also has you have to charge it if it says charge before use so yeah i mean i'll be putting it on for about oh hang on let's take that down i'm going to put it on for about 80 90 and happily taken off obviously i've paid three quid this is the 
like saucer thing that you you charge it on and that's the bottom um and then it's got all of the yeah li literally look all the doodahs in there I was like, Christ, I mean, someone said, oh, what did we get? What did we get dad this year or granddad this year? Oh, he's got everything. Oh, I found something. You know, you can keep his tea hot and this thing. We'll all club in. It's really expensive. And then granddad gets it and goes, what? Gives it to the charity shop. Charity shop, don't check it. And there you go. I'll come in. Three quid unbelievable so yeah bowler number one um what shot i oh, can't i can't reveal that peter come on it wasn't boots it was a charity shop i think it's an independent one actually or small independent small chain rather um it was a quality of card yeah i'm sorry catherine because i know it's the sort of thing you would have looked up as well um you're the ra queen no not shop shop charity shop Chazza, yeah, Chazza. Uh, Mum and Christine, yeah. So, I mean, just, just piss off. It was ridiculous. I just, I'm well happy. So, <laughs> I wasn't honestly wasn't expecting to get like amazing things on my trip. I really was just on a jolly. Um, I can't get the lid back on now. Oh, f. Right, I'll leave that for now. Right, next two bolos coming up. Now. Massive thanks. You all know the luxury pickers. Well, absolute superstars. They offer this. They say, oh, we'll authenticate anything for free if you send us some pictures. And I've not sent them any pictures before. And oh, sorry, Catherine. <laughs> um, so I, I picked a couple bits up yesterday. I thought, oh, I'll run these by them. Like, service unbelievable really really quick um their knowledge seriously i was just i had to read it out to tom i was like you won't believe this <laughs> listen to this it's amazing um and really quick as well so first thing again was in the special cabinet with the cookie clock weights and this is a shop okay right i found a ballet vintage leather handbag and i'm like oh hello i love a bit of that and they had it on, I think, for £35. And then there was another one at 35 And there was another one, not Bali, something else, for 50 I'm like, who's been marking these? Who's coming to this small charity shop expecting to spend £35 on handbag today? Uh, I'll be coming back when it's reduced. Thank you. Um, luxury pickers from most. Yes, aren't they? Mind-blowing, the knowledge. Anyway, so that was in the cabinet. Paul Smith, that's his signature stripe four quid and I thought maybe it's maybe I'm being daft here oh no they had something on the top and I could see the four but I could see a dot I'm like that can't be four quid when they've put 35 and 50 on those handbags down there surely and uh and they've basically luxury pickers have authenticated it for me so and it's lush because it's in its box it's a real it's got its little baggy um oh that's some little card that you know pretend card had in it it's a little leather wallet um looks yeah unused probably another present granddad who just went and done on that um yeah so the thing i wasn't sure about it has these little cottons on the corners but apparently this is <clears throat> early noughties i knew it was his signature stripe but i thought what's those cotton bits i'm like oh, i don't know no no of course like boom instantly so and there is there's one at the moment in the middle of bids i don't know when it's ending that they told me is uh, on bids at 37 at the moment, but well, I'll be expecting more and it's got, you know, with all of its little bits. So four pounds. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Bank, thank you very much. Um, and also wasn't so bad in my backpack coming home and on my bicycle. Um, good evening. Happy Chaffees. Good evening. Dawn Sherry Paul. Crispy that shop also had a lot of gorgeous two tone pool pottery, but so overpriced. But as we know, they won't sell it and then we'll come in, in a couple of weeks and go oh it's been reduced we'll leave it another couple of weeks go in now we'll buy it, 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 it. yeah um peter i had a load of paul smith shirts that sold very well yeah what with a bit of that signature stripe i love i mean i love that stripe i'm i like multicolors as well now this is the second one 
again, I've, I've, to, I've to read out some of the knowledge that was imparted this morning because it's freaking incredible and I haven't memorized it yet. Um, anything else I need to say about the Paul Smith? Oh, apart from the stitching is like a signature Paul Smith stitch. I said, obviously, I didn't know that. Why would I know that? It's amazing. Uh, right. Check this one out. Let's get it the right way up. Let's do it justice. Would you have picked that up? So Chris was um, rifling through cameras. I'm a great camera. Oh, I think you... Yeah, you put it on your Insta, didn't you? And so whilst he's rifling through cameras, I'm pulling little leather goodies off. I'm like, do you think? No. And so he looks it up and we find someone. I said, oh, no, that's, no, this is this is the fake one because um, that one's got a little, it was really dark, uh, like in this sort of this dimly lit, you know what they're like, trash shops. Because it, uh, it's got the tree thing in the corner and then I went, Oh, mine's got the tree thing in the corner. Mulberry. I hadn't seen the oh, the tree thing straight away. What I saw was it was nicely spelled out for me there. And, yeah, Luxury Pickers have authenticated it for me. And they had this, you wouldn't believe this, VHF, which, I don't know, I don't know what's going on at the moment, but where, you know, they'll price Mar a Marks and Sparks jumper up to something that was more than it, cost to buy to start with um heather i pick a lot of older wallets and good quality leather oh do you just like do you pick up oh no i feel like i'm gonna sneeze sorry do you just pick up any leather wallet like I, i'll pick up any leather belt at the moment to be fair i need to do some research um but so mulberry mulberry uh, so this is what they've said and i paid Three pound fifty for this. <laughs> um, it's late nineties. This is all from the luxury pickers. Um, the leather is called Congo embossed croc leather. Okay, um, we're all learning. Um, the formal mulberry colour is oak. We just call it tan. Okay. Um, Blends or Filofax is an iconic mulberry product. They're sought after. So. La, la, la. So I need to check out what size this is. And uh, I mean, I mean, luxury pickers, but then they've got, you know, obviously there's the trust there with what they're selling. They've, the last two days, so I went for 150 plus, but oh, I'll gauge it. I'll aim high, I'll aim high, but I'll see what, I mean, I paid £3.50, so over 100 is going to be happy, very happy for me. Just, I mean, so unbelievable trip, unbelievable trip. I just wasn't, honestly, I was going for a cup of coffee and a little mooch around. <sighs> Happy as Larry. Uh, <laughs> are, you being, are you vomiting, Peter? <laughs> um, Heather, if they're in good order and cheap enough, yes. Oh. Also leather western style or woven, yeah, the woven leather belts is what I was, did you see that one at the beginning? Um, I'm finding woven leather belts again, but western style? Oh, western style belts, yeah, yeah. I've uh, got one of those on as well at the moment. I had an Ariat or something, I hadn't heard of it, but it seems to go for good money. It hasn't sold yet, but um, oh, that's very interesting. That's what it's all about. Shake it all about, isn't it? Yeah, I, oh, what? That was superb for three pound fifty. I was happy with the camera at four fifty. Yeah, we that was an Olympus. That was an all right markup as well, wasn't it? Um, Leanne, I still remember the All Saints purse you bought and sold for a good price. Was that me? God, that's ringing. Was that me? That's for sort of ringing a bell. Oh, Jesus, my 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 memory shot if it was me. Yes, it was me. Oh God, I remember now. Well, I don't remember. Yes, an All Saints purse. I think that was from the special place too. I think that was from the special place. <gasps> it's ringing a bell. Oh my God, my memory shot. Yeah, that was way back, wasn't it? Yeah, so 
I'm off in a minute to uh, my one of my local trousers is reopening today after a refit. And I thought if I leave it till after 11, they might give me a drink because they said it's a party. So I can only hope. Um, I think it went for over 70. Yes. I, God, I'd forgotten about that. Because I also once picked up a, uh, oh, what's the thing with the white top on pens? Mont Blanc wallet. About, it was about one pound something. And again, I think somebody's just got a wallet, one pound, wallet. And I recognise the little, you know, the little white snow peak thing. And so, like, oh, maybe it's just a fake. I'll just buy it anyway. So, no, that went abroad somewhere. That was a nice, and that's way, that's really going back. That was right at the beginning, I think. And that was about 85 or something that went for back then. Um, so, yes, <sighs> tough to bits amazingly helpful incredible free service luxury pickers are offering everybody thank you so much i'm sure you're not watching this but oh, it's a child home need to finish up quickly um hello she's coming um yeah and hopefully you've got a few bolos in your back pocket there just in case the thing that i would get from that i've got from Oh, I didn't realise you were live. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> um, from Catherine is that she checks everything. Like, she's not sure. She'll check it up on her phone. And that's why I checked that mug. Um, yeah, Ember. Whoa. So, yeah, thank you for joining me. That's the end of it. I can't, I still can't. I mean, these are the best pickups I've had in a long time. Yeah, so I'll be back. Oh, will I be back Monday? No, it's Bank Holiday Monday for Queenie, isn't it? So what should I do? Should I do Tuesday instead? I'll do Tuesday. As long as I'm not out doing something, I'll I'll do Tuesday about 10. Um, that'd be better. Yeah, because nothing's going to be going out either Monday, is it? Yeah. Uh, thank you, 25 people, for joining me. Drop me a comment down below if you feel like it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And uh, throw a like on the video, people. Thank you, Peter. Um, bye bye, don't die. <laughs>